joined by Mark Shahadi and Joan Willis, uh, members of the Point Park University men's basketball team for River States Conference Media Day. Thanks, guys, for taking the time. No Thank problem. You. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Um, Mark, how has the preseason gone so far this year? The preseason has gone uh, great so far. You know, I feel like we've gained a lot more ground going into this year than we have previously in the past. And you can already see the difference in um, discipline and our mentality. You know, Coach Joe has done a great job of kind of developing um, a culture. And we have a group of guys that are buying into our system. And they have a team first mentality. And I feel like that's something really special and different than years past because we've always had the talent. It's just we weren't always so disciplined in terms of running what the coach wants and kind of building off his foundation. Things like um, spacing, timing, rhythm on offense. And now that we're starting to do that, you can start to see it's going to be scary for teams that have to play against us this year. And for you, Jawan, what has been the attitude of the team that you've seen so far this preseason? And the ad well, even though I didn't play last year, I was still at practice every day and was in the environment. So I know from last year to this year, the attitude is completely different. Uh, everyone's competing 110% every day. Like, um, no spot is for granted. No spot secure. Everyone's fighting like they're trying to be at that next step. And that's really what we needed, like especially since last year. We didn't have a coach for most of the preseason, so now we do. We have Coach Joe. Um, he knows, we know what he expects, and we can even show that to some of the younger guys who weren't here last year, what he expects and how he wants things to be done, and it's the right way, and it works. Juwan, sticking with you, what do you think uh, could be some strengths of the Point Park team this year? Definitely our depth. I, I know last year you guys yeah. didn't really have – um, that depth that we have this year, that we can we can go hard on defense, offense, everything, and we're confident that we can we can go hard enough to where we're, we know that we're tired. We can come out the game, and whoever's coming in the game is not letting up at all. Mark, a question to you: You've been around this your third year now at Point mm -hmm. Park. Uh, what do you see from uh, personnel-wise in the team, from point guard to wing to post? Do you feel like the pioneers are situated well in all those areas? Well, everyone on our team can stretch the floor, and they can spread the defense, and they can shoot it. You know, Coach always says um, everybody's a shooter on our team. And I feel like that's a difference, you know. Um, maybe in years past, we've had guys that are um, strictly on the post. But this year, we have guys that can spread the floor. And I think that's going to help a lot force um, the defense to come out and close out. And it creates a lot of downhill attack situations. But everybody can play off the bounce, you know. Um, everybody can spread the floor and shoot it. Even our biggest guy, RJ, he's not afraid to come out. And I feel like we have a lot of guys that are willing to make the right play. And once you get that kind of leeway, then it makes it a lot simpler because a lot of times coach is just saying, go motion, you know, pass and cut. And that creates a lot of opportunities for our teammates because you're not trying to make the highlight play, but, not, um, but rather make the right play. So, Mark, sticking with you, um, last year the team was 9-18 and overall, 5-12 and conference. You made the playoffs out of the fourth place spot in the division. What was your take of that when it was all said and done, and uh, what, what, what's the goal for this year? Um, well, it's definitely not anywhere near where we wanted to be last year, but it was a significant improvement from the um, year before. And I feel like we're going to only continue, continue to improve, especially with our guys this year. Because, like, I keep resorting back to that discipline factor. We have a group of guys that are willing to buy in. And we've always had the talent. So if we get that group of guys that are willing to buy into the system and we're playing for one another, then it can get dangerous. Jawan, your thoughts uh, on last year uh, sitting out the redshirt year, but then, uh, you know, what you're trying to do this year with the, yourself and the team? Um, it was hard not, you know, not playing at all, knowing that you can't touch the floor. For an entire season, I never had to really go through anything like that. But um, seeing where we were at last year, and uh, like the players that we had last year, and then seeing this year, I know that we're a lot more skilled, we're a lot deeper, we're a lot more coached, we're a lot more coached, we're a lot more disciplined. So I know that we can only go up from here. And we didn't really even have. We, we had a pretty bad season last year, in my opinion, but we still made the playoffs. So I know what we could do this year with what we have. It's the sky's the limit. And last question, back to you, Mark. 
Um, your impression of the River States Conference, you've seen it a couple years now. Uh, well, what's your take on the league? Well, I think it's probably one of the, if not the most competitive conference in the whole entire league. You know, last year we had three teams ranked in the top 25. It's incredibly talented. You know, those teams have talent, and we have just as much talent, in my personal opinion, from a skill set standpoint, athleticism. But I think that the difference last year was, again, you know, staying true to your system. Because whenever you play against players as talented as you, you're not necessarily going to beat them with skill because you're both equally skilled. It's more like the little intangible things, staying disciplined, you know, um, relying on your offense, the little things like positioning before positioning on defense. So I feel like, you know, we can do a really good job of competing with those top tier teams such as um, IU East, Tech, every year because we're more reliant on beating them mentally rather than just physically. But we still have that physical component. Thanks a lot, guys, for taking the time. That'll wrap it up for Point Park Men's Basketball on the RSC Media Day. Thanks for having me.